How are you, everyone? Como estas? Sing chao. Annyeonghaseyo. Okay, Stephen Choi here. This is the first video of the three that I'll be making for Monday, May 18th, 2020. Okay? Uh, before we go on to our lesson today, um, I want to thank you for uh, sending me your homework uh, uh, by email and also asking me some questions. I appreciate that. And, you know, uh, continue to do that, and and I'll do my best to reply to your emails as soon as possible. Okay. Um, one more important thing, as usual, um, after finish finish watching these videos, please don't forget to text back uh, and uh, letting us know uh, to let us know that um, you have finished watching them. Okay, and and it'd be nice if you just you know put your name as well when you when you text back. Instead of just saying, I am finished or I am done, write your name, okay? Write your name and say, I'm finished or I'm done, okay? All right, so let's move on to our lesson for the day here. Okay, we are in Unit 4, uh, and we're on page 48. Page 48, Unit 4, and we're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about used to, okay? You see that, used to? I talk about used to, used to. All right, so let, let me start by writing a sentence, okay, or two. Okay, if I say I I used to I used to play tennis, okay. I used to play tennis, okay. Okay, I used to play tennis. All right. Um, what if I wrote another sentence here? I played tennis, okay? So, you know, used to, as you can see, okay, you know, it's a regular verb, right? Use, used, okay, and then used, right? Regular verb, okay? So, it's, it's a past tense, right? The simple past, simple past. Okay, the simple past. I used to play tennis, and then played is here simple past. They're both simple, simple past. But this one I'm using used to. In this sentence, I'm not using used to. Okay, they're both past tense, but one is using used to, the other one is not using used to. So what's the difference besides the fact that you know I'm not using used to in one of them? What's the difference in meanings? Okay, what's the difference in meaning? Well. When you when you look look at this one without the used to without the uh, without using used to, okay, it means what? It means what? Just like what it says, right? It means I played tennis, okay, in the past, okay. In the past, I played tennis. You know, obviously that's what simple past means, right? You know, I don't know when, but I, I didn't say it, but Let's say, you know, 10 years ago or 15 years ago. I, I played tennis. That's all you know, right? But when you use used to, okay, obviously, it also gives that information. I played tennis in the past, okay? I played tennis in the past, okay? But it also tells me one more information. What is that? Who knows? Okay. I used to play tennis. When you use used to, you get the same information, but you get one additional information. What is that? It means I don't, I do not play tennis now. Okay? Okay? Or anymore. Okay? Okay? I don't play tennis anymore. I don't play tennis now. Okay. So when you don't use used to, I play tennis. We just know what happened in the past. Okay. I mean, you knew that. Okay. Simple past. You just give information about the past. But even though this is simple past, when you use used to, when you use that expression, I used to play tennis, it gives the same information. Yeah, I played tennis in the past. But it also gives one more information about what's happening now, okay? That means I don't play tennis anymore, okay? 
In the past, I played tennis, but nowadays, I don't play. I don't play anymore. Okay? So you get that additional information when you use used to. Okay? Used to. Okay? I think in Spanish, it's like solía. Okay? Anyway. So, that's the, that's the, that's the difference between just, just not, not using used to and using used to. Okay? Very simple, right? Okay. If you have any questions, just email me anytime. schoy413 at gmail.com. Okay? All right. So, so let's, let's talk about, um, okay, let, let's talk about one more, one more sentence. Okay. Let's say, if I say, you used to be nice and that's used to. Okay, can you say that without using used to? How do you do that in the simple past? Okay, you gotta say what? You used to be nice. If you write if you write simple past without using used to, it is what? You you were nice, right? You were nice, okay? So, same thing here. Uh, when you say you were nice, that just gives one information, right? So, in the past, obviously, <laughs> you were nice, okay? You were nice, okay? In the past, you were nice. That's all we know. But when you use used to, you get two information, right? It's, it said what? In, same thing. In the past... You are nice, okay? You were nice, but we get one more information, right? What is that? Now, now what? Now, you are not nice, okay? So, you see it? Okay. So, if you just put, you know, if you just write simple past, we just know what happened in the past. We only have information about the past. But when you use used to, okay, when you use used to, which is also simple past, we get additional information, right? Just like the, just like the regular one, we know that you were nice in the past, but now, today, you're not nice, okay? You're not nice anymore, okay? So that's the difference between, uh, by, between using used to and not using used to, okay? All right. Again. If you have any questions about this, let me know, okay? Because I know you can't, you know, raise your hand right now <laughs> and um, ask questions directly, okay? All right, so let me write that up there before I forget. What was the question, uh, answer, uh, the sentence? It was, you used to be nice, okay? All right, so these two... Um, Sentences are in the positive, right? Okay, let's make it negative. How do you make it negative? Okay, how do you make I used to play tennis negative? Okay, you say I the simple past, right? Simple past. How do you make how do you make um negative? How do you make negative in the simple past? Remember when you make negative, we use do does did. Okay. And this is a simple past, so we have to use did, right? So you say, I did not used to play tennis, right? It's good? Is it good to you? Yes or no? What do you think? I did not used to play tennis, okay? Positive is I used to play tennis. Negative is I, I did not used to play tennis. Is it good? Or no good. Okay, this is not good. Okay, it sounds good when I when I say it, but when I write it, it's not good, right? What's the problem? Since since we're using did, the main verb has to go to base form, right? Remember we talked about that a few weeks ago. Okay, I did not used to play tennis. Okay, so when you use did, okay, when you use that did. The word did, the main verb, this is a main verb, right? It goes to the base form, okay? So no D. Now, it's kind of, you know, when you're speaking it, it doesn't, it doesn't sound bad because, because that T that follows, whether you say I used to or 
I did not use to. Okay, so when you say it fast, you know, you, you can't really hear that D, so it sounds the same, so nobody cares. But when you write it, make sure you get rid of, you get rid of that D, okay? No D there, okay, because of did, okay? I did not used to play tennis. I did not used to play tennis, okay? So same here. How do you make this thing into uh, into negative? So this is positive. How do you make it negative? You say you did not used used no 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 used okay because of this did right you did not use to be nice okay I'm running out of space okay you did not used to be nice you did not used to be nice okay. All right, so you got th these two sentences, okay? Um, and make sure you don't put those um, you don't put those D's. Take out the D's when you write, okay? You did not used to be nice. So let's talk about the meanings meanings for these two negative sentences, okay? I did not used to play tennis. I did not used to play tennis. Okay, so what, what's the meaning? You say what? In the past, okay? In the past. Uh, okay, just let's, let's make it simple. In the past, okay, no tennis. No tennis, right? But now, but now, okay, now what? Now tennis, okay. <laughs> okay, so in the, in the past, a long time ago or sometime before, I didn't play tennis. But now I play tennis, okay? You get you get extra information when you're used to. Same thing here, okay? So, uh, in the past, in the past, what? Not nice, right? It's negative. You did not used to be nice, okay? So when you were long time, when you were kids, I guess I don't know. When you were young and immature, you were not nice, okay? You were not nice, okay? But but now what happens? But now, since it was negative, now. Now you are nice. Now you're nice. Okay. So when you use used to, you get two different information. Okay. You get what happened. In, what was what what was it like in the past, and what what's going on today? Okay. In the past and today, when you use used to. Okay. Any questions about that? All right. And make sure you take out that D. Okay. All right. So. You know, any anytime you have any questions, just write it down so you don't forget. I mean, you know, you can always pause the video, right? I mean, this is not like you know, you know, you just just press this press uh, the the space bar or K, right? Remember, I told you press K. You can just stop it and write down your question, and you can email it to me later. Okay. All right. So we got the negative and positive. Okay. And how do you make these into question forms? How do you make it into question forms? Let's look at the first one. I did not used to play tennis. How do you make that into a question? Okay. So question, you want to put that before the subject, right? So you say, did I, did I used to play tennis? And then put a question mark. Did I used to play? Now, do I put a D or no D here? Did I use used to play tennis or did I used to play tennis? Okay, just like the negative form, right? Question form has a did, right? So you take out the D, right? You take out the D. You take out the D. You don't put that D. Okay. Did I used to play tennis? Okay. Did I used to play tennis? How about here? You did not okay, you used to be nice, okay? So how do you how do you make it um how do you make it a uh, question form? You did not used to be nice. Same thing. Put the did first, right? Did you used to be nice? And I put a question mark, right? And then again, because of that uh, did, you don't say, did you used to be, okay? You just put, did you used to be nice? Did you used to be nice? Okay. Sounds good? All right, so so you put the D when it's positive, but you take out the D when it's negative, or when it's when it's a question form, okay? Because you got the did. 
you have did there, okay? All right. Okay, so how do you how do you answer the question? Did I used to play tennis? You say you say yes. I yes I played. Okay, I mean you can, but that that's not the best way, right? Did I use? No. Okay. Remember, you, for short answer, you just say yes I did. Or no, I did not. Okay. Yes, I did, or no, I did not. Okay. And, you know, that's, you know, again, if you want to contract that, it becomes didn't, right? No, I, no, I didn't. Okay. But if you want to make a long answer, you got to do what? You got to say, yes, I used to play. Okay, and then you add a tennis. Okay, so long answer, you can use used to, okay? But short answer, you just say, yes, I did. Yes, I did, or no, I did not, okay? Or, okay, now, you know, some people might say, yes, yes, I used to, okay? You know, that's, you know, that's not, that's not, that's not formal way of writing, you know, whatever. But, you know, when you're talking, obviously, this is a conversation. People say that. Yes, yes, I used to. Yeah, I used to. I used to. That's it. I used to. Okay. If you just say, yes, I used, that's not good. Okay. You gotta say, yes, I used to. Okay. People talk like that. Right? And same here. Okay. You say, yes, yes, I did. Okay. Or, no, I didn't. Okay. Okay. Did you used to be nice? Yes, I did. Yeah, yes, I did. No, I did not. Okay, no, I did not. Okay, but okay, and you can write. You can write it long. Okay, yes, I used to be nice. No, I didn't used to be nice. Okay, or you can just say yeah. What you say? Yes, yes, I used to. Okay, or no, I, I didn't. No. I didn't used to, okay? Okay, so same same thing here. Yes, I used to, or no, I didn't use. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put a two there. No, I didn't used to, okay? That's that's how, how people, Americans would re reply to used to question, okay? Yes, I did, or no. Yes, I used to, or no, I didn't used to, okay? So, um, again, um, when, when, when you when you pronounce these words, okay, we'll talk a little bit about pronunciation, okay? When you say it, it sounds about the same. It's very hard to tell the difference because, you know, you say it fast. You know, I used to play. I didn't used to play. Okay, it sounds the same, right? But when you write it, make sure you put that D when it's positive, but no D for negatives and questions, okay? All right. Um, one more thing. How would you pronounce this one right here? Okay, I mean, this is a little bit off the topic here, but, you know, you say, did you, right? When you say slowly, did you, used to, right? Did you, okay? But when you say it fast, it sounds like what? It sounds like, um, it sounds like, like this. It sounds like, okay, did you, like a J sound, okay? Did you becomes did you, did you, okay? Did you? Okay, that's that's how Americans pronounce it when you when they say fast. Okay, did you? Did you used to be? Okay, did you do your homework? Okay, same thing with other other ones with the D and a Y combination like could you, could you, should you, would you? When you say slowly, that's how you say. It, but you know, even not even fast, but like normal speed, you say would you, could you, should you. Did you? Okay, that's how you would say it. Anyway, um, that's a little, little, little bit of pronunciation uh, off the topic, off, off topic. But, uh, you know, basically, used to uh, is different uh, than just regular way of talking about the past tense without it. When you use used to, you get two different information. What happened in the past and what was happening now. When you don't use used to, you just know what happened in the past. And for now, 
For the present, we have no idea because there's no information. All right, we'll see you in the next video.